Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the following example. Simplify each of the following vector expressions. Part A, vector xy plus, in brackets, vector yz plus vector zw, close bracket, plus vector wp. Step 1. Take out the brackets. Vector xy plus vector yz plus vector zw plus vector wp. Now notice if you look at the alphabets y, these are the same. So vector xy plus vector yz equals to vector xz. Likewise, if you look at these two vectors, this is w and that's also w. So this means vector zw plus vector wp equals to vector zp. The final answer equals to, again, they're both the same, which means the final answer is going to be vector xp. Now, if you want to activate a dual mindset, one method is to think about this from a graphical perspective. And again, if I pretend xy looks something like that, and yz looks something like that, and zw looks something like that, and wp looks something like that, this means when I add the vectors, ultimately, it's the same as taking vector xp. So again, active that dual mindset to maximize your understanding. Let's keep going. Part B. Vector mn plus vector nh plus vector hm plus vector am equals to, I'm going to write the last one first, vector am plus vector mn plus vector nh plus vector hm. Now, if you really think about the shortcut, ultimately, the final answer should be a m. Now, how do I know that? If you go back, they're both m and they're both h. So this would have been a n plus n m. And again, these are both equal. So the shortcut is the final answer is going to be vector a m. But again, if we want to show some steps, here's what you can do. They're both equal to m. So a n is going to be the second step. Likewise, if you look at these two, they're both h. So vector n m is going to be the second part. And of course, vector a n plus vector n m equals to vector a m. Now, I'd like you to press pause and try part C and D. And when you press play again, I'll be here. Part C. 2 times vector a b plus 2 times vector c e plus 2 open bracket vector b c plus vector e f close bracket. And again, I'll copy the brackets like that. Step number one, take out the brackets. 2 times vector a b plus 2 times vector c e plus 2 times vector b c. Again, I'll draw the arrows here for you. 2 times vector e f. Step number two, common factor of 2. So I'm going to bring 2 to the front, open a big bracket here, and copy vectors a, b, plus vector c, e, plus vector b, c, plus vector e, f. Now, we write this in such a way that you can simplify this. Open the bracket, vector a, b. I'm going to copy b, c next. And again, the reason is because there's b and b, which I can match in a moment. Likewise, I'm going to copy vector C E afterwards. And again, there are two reasons for this. First, C and C are equal, and also E and E are equal. Close the bracket. Now, look what happens. Again, I'm going to go slightly faster now. B and B will match. C and C, and maybe I'll use a different color for you. This will match as well. So this means it's going to be vector A C plus vector cf and of course this equals to two times 
vector AF. One more time. Part E, I mean part D, not part E. Here we go. The first step is I'm gonna copy the entire question as is. Then, let's zoom in for you. This equals to vector x, y plus three times vector y, x minus six times vector y, z. Again, here are the arrows. At this point, there's more than one way to express the final answer. So here's one method. And if your teacher shows a different method, follow your teacher's method. I'm thinking about the first two terms and I'm asking myself, how can I simplify this? So one approach is I'm adding, and I'll use a different color for you. I'm adding and I'm subtracting by two X, Y. Now look what happens. The first and the fourth term, when I combine them, this equals to one plus two, that's gonna be three X, Y plus three y x i can cross these out minus six y z minus two x y so again since x y and y x these are opposite vectors you can cross them out this means you're left with negative times vector y z minus two times vector x y now again at this point you may start encountering circular logic or you might start going in a circle right so if you want this to be in a positive form instead of a negative form you could write down six times vector z y plus two times vector y x now notice what happens i can keep going or i can stop if you keep going what happens is you want to add and subtract 4yx. But then again, you would discover that you're going to go in a circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here. Again, follow your teacher's form and you're going to be okay. I hope this makes sense.